Good morning. Happy Friday. It's Friday, November 3rd, 2023. Welcome to Friday YouTube Live. We're going to be playing with some fun, brand new release Lawn Fawn products um, that were just released this week. A little mini snow globe release, which is so super fun. Hello, Wilma and Colleen and Pretty and Crafts and Designs by Nima. Jenna, it's so good to see everybody. Every time every item went on my Christmas list, Jenna said yes. It is such a cute, cute, cute release. So I have not made a reveal wheel card in quite some time. They are one of my all-time favorite types of cards to make. So interactive cards especially. So I thought we would create um, an interactive card this morning and just kind of see where it takes us. So hopefully it goes well. <laughs> um, hello, Terry and Lisa and Maria. So I noticed, I wondered why it was so weird that there was no one really waiting. There were two of you waiting for the live. And I realized when I was fixing some stuff this morning, the supply list, I don't know how I managed this. I made the video unlisted, so I made it public. Of course. Oh, well, it's totally fine. Hello, Janie and Kathy and Susan and Steph. Oh, my goodness. So good to see so many of you here this morning. So, so weird. Sorry I did that. Who knows? Okay, that's going to help me read this. <laughs> that should have been a woohoo. I've been able to catch a live. Julie said that's awesome. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see everybody. Okay, I am going to check something really quick. Well, maybe it won't let me show it to me right here. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, is this streaming on Facebook? I tried. Julie, it says Julie is watching from Facebook, but I didn't think it was going to let me do it. But that's awesome if it did, because it said there was an error, but maybe it's working. Yay! <laughs> good afternoon from Austria, Mela says. Hello. Uh, yes. It's been a while for, for Marie, she says. I'm so glad you're here. And I missed that comment, so let me scroll back. Oh, yes, Crafts, Crafts and True Crime Tracy said she likes the reveal wheel, too. <laughs> yes, paper, pencil, and bird changed to winter time and got times mixed up. Times are hard. Time zones are hard. That's why I told Libby <laughs> the other day. Yay! Okay, Julie, great. Facebook worked. I, it lied to me. I bet I know why. I bet it's because it was unlisted when I was trying to do it. And as soon as I switched it to public. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Tina. She says she's a newbie. Um, hello, Nan. Hi, Donna. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I switched over to Christmas. I'm sorry, not sorry, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I've been crafting Christmas already, but uh, I switched over to it for attire as well. Let's see. Oh, hello, Sophie. Has an appointment pretty soon, so can't stay. Oh, no, no. I hope you don't have strep. Sending uh, prayers and good vibes that you feel better soon. Okay, well, because I'm going to go completely from start to finish, we're going to go ahead, flip the camera around, get started. If you have questions, pop them into the comments. If you do question in all caps, it does make it, I always forget to move that, a little bit easier for me to see. Um, but I always try to save a little bit of time at the end of the live to answer anything that I may have missed. Hi, Lori and Shari. Shari says she's currently editing a reveal wheel video with the new release. <laughs> and it's for next week on Lawn Fawn. Yay! Okay, I am going to switch this and I'm going to pull me up. We are going to, oh, of course, you know, all my good plans, all of my good plans go out the window. I started warming up my glimmer. And um, it's been on too long, so it went off. I mean, I'm glad that it doesn't just stay on forever. So let's, while we're waiting for it to heat up, I've got to find something to do. This is how I craft. While we're waiting for one thing, we're going to do something else. So let's go ahead and stamp the images. I didn't even pre-stamp any. everybody. Who knew? Need all the reveal wheel help, Lori. It's... 
it's my favorite. Here's why it's my favorite. It's because it's easy. <laughs> At least I think this one's easy. Some of them, not so easy. Oh, platform pop-up. I love platform pop-up too. Maybe it's because I can do them without uh, looking up the instructions every time. Okay, the stamp set we're going to use today is this cute little mini one. I love this little bear. He is the cutest. So we are going to go ahead and stamp these images. Oh good, my well, we are. I'm going to stamp these real quick and then we're going to glimmer. We're going to glimmer it up. I am going to color with some Olo markers today, so I'm using an alcohol, whoops, an alcohol ink friendly ink. I may have to stamp these a couple times. I really, really need to re-ink my black ink pad. All right, that's still not the best stamping I've ever done. One more time. <laughs> Yay, Lawn Fawn, yes. I think we did Lawn Fawn last week too. Happy accident. This was new product, I had to. Had to, had to. When I see that there's some reveal wheels and snow globes, you guys know me. I'm down for that. All right, I'm going to zoom out just a tiny bit to do some glimmering. Of course, the sensor is right up here. All the camera stuff is such a pain. All right. So I went to my stash. Love the reveal wheel, Ju Judy says yes. Okay, this is the snowflake background. I did some fun stuff with this last year. Uh, this is not new, but you know, it's that time of year. It's time to break that out again. And what I want to do is I actually want to create the front panel of my reveal wheel with some glimmered snowflakes. And then we're going to basically emboss resist the foil and do some ink blending over the top instead of, um, you know, other ways that you can do that. This is some prism, speckled prism, I think. Uh, is what the color, I'll look here. Yes, speckled prism foil. And this is going to be the front panel for our reveal wheel. So we're going to glimmer it first and then we're going to die cut. What stencil are we talking about that I missed? Okay, let's see. My husband put the tree up November 1st. We will be decorated for Christmas this weekend, Kendra says. Yay. Feeling the lawn fond love, Nicole. You know, always. But I got to tell you, Shari, I'm going to tell you later something dumb I did. I'm not going to tell right now. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I tell on myself all the time. Okay, so here's while we're waiting for this to heat up. I knew that I had the little, oops, I can put them right here, the stencils for lining up the images, but I misplaced them. I almost had to cancel this morning's live. It wasn't just these. I had these three things that I don't, I couldn't figure out where I put them. And I was having a little bit of a tantrum this morning. And then I found them and I was like, oh yeah, I remember putting them there. So dumb, so dumb. <laughs> oh, I, I am so mad at myself. But I found them. Oh, the new poinsettia stencil. I got to tell you, I tried to figure out a way to incorporate that into what I wanted to make today. And it just didn't go with my vibe. But I wanted to. It is amazing. I love the new poinsettia stencil from Lawn Fawn. One of my very favorite stencils. Let's see. Okay. When the light is all heated up. This isn't exactly a foiling video, but I love when you can incorporate foiling into your card making. That really is my favorite way to use foiling. Oh, you put the... See, I did that too. I was so mad at myself, Shari. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. I was like, 
you dummy, what did you do with them? Because without them, my idea wasn't going to be very fun. All right. Ta-da! Look at those pretty, pretty snowflakes. And I am not going to do it right here, but I am going to save this. And I'm going to foil this with the solid plate so that I can have more of a solid snowflake background that I can use for something else. Because that's too pretty a foil to lose. In fact, look, these stencils were also with the other ones. These are the poinsettia stencils we're not using, but... Oh my goodness, you guys. If you haven't picked these up, you're going to want to because they are gorgeous. All right. We are going to... I'm going to put this down here on my shelf out of the way. And then we're going to do some fun ink blending. But first, we're going to need to die cut. I had to make my daughter her sixth birthday card and misplace the Hero Arts number six. And I was going crazy and had to make the card without it and then found the, the die the day of her birthday. I was so mad. Does You know, I knew that was going to happen. I was running around before, well, it was about an hour and a half ago. And losing my mind because I thought it was all right here. I had everything ready. And as I was prepping and looking, I thought, what? What happened to that? Ugh, <laughs> so mad. Okay, this is the Reveal Wheel Rectangle Die. This is going to be the cover of our front panel of our card and scene. And I foiled it first. I always find it easier to foil and then die cut. So we're just going to die cut this panel and do a little embossed resist. Hi, Shanna makes it. All about the stencils right now, Shimon said, yes. Crafty Toad Lawn Fawn is so creative and innovative. Isn't that the truth? That is so, so nice. The mini globe is so cute. Okay. Oh, you know what? I really should have die cut. Um, hold, please. Okay, so this little piece here. This is your little guide for how far down to go with this little guy. Yeah, I should have known I was going to uh, forget. And I'm going to tell you something. Well, yes. I'm actually going to leave this little plastic piece in place to help me hold this down. I hope it stays put when I put this in my die cut machine so that I'm not putting adhesive on my foil because adhesive will kind of pick that up. Let me fix my die cut machine too. All the things. <laughs> you are what, oh, Donna, thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> I wasn't, you know, I like to just make fun of myself really. Mostly because it's my own fault that I have a little bit of a, a crafty mess. It's getting better, but I am of the slow and steady cleanup right now. All right. Let me get that little circle die cut. There we go. I hope that that is going to be in the right place. If I did this wrong... You forgot the... Shari, thank you. <laughs> she was like, Nicole, you forgot. Yes. But luckily, we can just get that die cut just like so. There we go. All right. So here is our cute little panel. And we're going to grab our glass mat. And let's make sure we don't lose that die or my little template. Those are the things that go missing in Nicole Land. Now, here is some things I did prep. I personally love to die cut another one of these for the back of my reveal wheel. That's just kind of, you. there's lots of ways to do it. This is just the way I always have liked to do it. And then I did go ahead and die cut a couple of snow banks that I hope that they're in the right place. They may be a little high. I may have to trim that down a little uh, for this front. 
So um, I just wanted to have those a little ready to go. Oh, I hope so. I hope it's going to be nice. All right. We're going to grab some tumbled glass and blueprint sketch. And we are going to do that embossed resist. We're going to start with our tumbled glass first. Oh, thank you, Donna. You're so sweet. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. Like I said, when I saw that there were only two people waiting for the live, I was like, oh, man. And I'm kind of excited about what we're making today. And then I realized it was unlisted. Well, that was dumb. Well, and really, you know what I thought? Well, then two of us are, or the three of us were going to have a lot of fun. All right. Blueprint sketches up next. I don't know what it is about creating snowy backgrounds, but I love it. I have a love-hate relationship with cleaning my craft room too. I don't know what it is. I mean, I love when it's clean, but I tend to get distracted and want to start creating partway through the cleaning. It's getting there. I really, I just have a couple more things that I'm not happy with. Every weekend I make some more progress, so. And I've been trying to keep it cleaned up during the week. Like at the end of the day, I make sure my desk is ready for the next day. So there's that. Who's going to come hang out with me? Who signed up for the Hero Arts Stamp Along tomorrow? I am up first in the morning for classes, so... I am super excited. Took Friday off, Ebrig said, nice. Watching from work, Marie said, shh, we won't tell. Okay, I love inking over foiling. So now I'm just gonna take a dry cloth. You can take a dry paper towel. I wanna make sure that I'm buffing that ink off of my pretty foiled snowflakes. And there is our background. Oh, I love it so much. All right, we're gonna finish our stamping first, is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set that aside for a minute. So we got our card base stuff. We have our focal point. Let's put our snowflake background away too. I have my focal point. Now we are going to, let's just use the other corner of our misty for now. Hello everybody. Homework today, yay, I'm so glad. Marie, you have, it's a paid for class, if that's what you're asking. You had to sign up for it. Okay. We are going to take this little component here, and here's the dies that I was mad that I thought I had misplaced. And these little templates are awesome. So this is the little snow globe bear. So this coordinates with this set. And it lines up perfectly. They have templates for every set. And they are invaluable. I remember when the reveal wheel first came out, before the templates, before the little masking templates here, not fun is all I've got to say. Marie, I am not sure if it is or not. Oh, look. I'm sorry, everybody. Just give me one moment. <laughs> you can probably get get there from Hero Arts, but um, I 
Let's see. It might be, but I don't know. Let me let me check. Um, it's saying that you can still join. Let me just pop it here into the chat. Now you don't have to have the supplies to participate. Obviously we will be using certain ones, but you can, lots of people use what they have. There are two for the bear and two for the dog. Yes, I know. I, and they were all in the same place. Thank you, Shari. So let me mention that. Where did I put them now? Well, okay. So does it show? This one and the one I have in my Misty say bear. And then the, there's two more and they are for the other stamp set. Oh, here they are. I do want to thank you for pointing that out, Shari. And these say for the dog. So, oh no, that's not the dog stamp set. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong one. I had that out for something else I'm making. Uh, this stamp set here. This is the little snow globe dog. And these coordinate to this one. So there are, like I said, the masks for everything. Do the templates work with all the reveal wheel? No, uh, Jessica, they don't. Um, you have to have a, the specific um, template for each set. Oops. Okay, so in our snow globe, this is where you get to play a little bit. So you can, there's also the little snow globe add-on. So if you want to do some of these add-ons, you can. Um, there's obviously the tree and be merry work in this one. But I think you could really kind of mix and match. So I am going to use my template to line up what I want. Oh yeah, the openings are turned different for the bear versus the dog, Shari said. Thank you, Shari. I love having Shari here so she can explain all of the ins and outs of it. So what, when we turn the wheel, one of the openings will show the tree one is going to show that little Be Merry sentiment. And I think we're going to do, um, do I want to do that or do I want to add something else? Sometimes I think it's really fun to add. I think we'll just add the snow. But I want to do something different with the snow. So let's, actually I want to do something now. I lied. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have a dog chewing on something, so don't mind that. And my thinking out loud. So one of the openings will show snow, one has a greeting, and one has the tree. They're so small and adorable. They're so cute. Okay, I am just going to stamp these in black, I think. I was going to change my mind, but I, cha I changed it back. Yes, okay, good. And I s store mine usually with the die that they go with. Oh, I could have probably moved the template, but I didn't, so it'll wipe off. That looks pretty good. Okay, so our wheel now has all of our little things on it. The next thing we're going to do before our coloring, oh, it is, it's actually Odin chewing on the bone. I'm so sorry. Right next to me, I've pushed him with my foot multiple times trying to get him to leave, and he keeps coming back. <laughs> Okay, so this little die, if you want to use the bear and you don't want interactive elements at all, you, you can use it just like this. You can fill it with any of the images that you see, uh, even if they're from the other stamp set, if you want to do that. Totally great, not interactive at all. If you want to have the opening, this die 
that comes with the set is made to die cut and it die cuts around the bear's arm. That way, when you turn your reveal wheel, you'll be able to see what's inside. So let's go ahead and die cut that because we don't need it. So there's no sense in coloring it. Yes. Shari says the intro video on Lawn Fawn's channel will answer a ton of the questions because it goes in depth about how all of these little different things work. So definitely check that out. And when I'm done with the live today, I will go in and um, add, add that in. There's my marker, it fell out. So that if you wanna go back and watch that intro video, you can. So we're gonna color Let's see, I almost didn't notice because I have been doing, clearly tune it out. Yeah, he always wants to keep me company. We call him the Velcro dog. So uh, I am gonna color everything in with Olo markers. And really it's minimal coloring today. It really is. What else do we need to do red? Let's do the base of our snow globe red too. The snow globe is so cute. I love all the snow globes. Love, love, love. All right. One second while I color and try not to get red marker everywhere. Oh my goodness, it's 127 in, Austra on, in Australia time. Oh, thank you so much for always watching the replay. I appreciate it so much. And thanks for saying hello before you head to bed. All right. Next, let's take some warm grays. Ugh. And I always like to do just a little warm gray on my white. Yes, get some rest, definitely, Cherry, for sure. Didn't notice Odin chewing so focused on learning. Well, I'm glad because it's really hard to get rid of the dogs. So I try, but they just want to be in here with Mommy all the time. Mommy's their favorite. Question, have you mainly moved to using Olos? Yes, I have. Um... My Copics are not even in my craft room anymore. I still have them, but I haven't used them in so long. And they would require, I know, a ton of refill, and I don't really want to do that. So I have moved to using Olos. I think I want to change what I'm doing here. Maybe, maybe not. One moment, everyone. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, I'm back. I wasn't gone long.
I just want to get my base color on my bear. This is OR 3.4 question. Do you have snow globe collection or did your parents, grandparents, just wondering if there's a special memory? No, uh, actually no, not at all. My, first of all, my mom is not a collector of anything. I call my mom the throwawayer. My mom does not get attached to things like that. Um, she just never has. Oh, man. Okay, just ignore that. This is not my new marker. So sorry. I'm going to have to start over. Ah, shoot. Just on that image. That's why I didn't want to use that. Uh, no. No special memory at all. Um, I have a couple that my kids gave me. So I guess there's that. And I don't even really have that many snow globes. I just really like them. I always have. I like making paper ones. They don't take up very much room. Okay. No, I have to die cut this again. The joy of being live. I'm going to have to grab a different marker too. That's my fault completely. All right. Yes, it's it's just that one. All right. Luckily, wasn't too far into this. My hat is fine, so we don't have to redo anything there. Okay. Let's do a quick little... I can be a little bit quicker about this. Yeah, I don't have any special memory. That's such a good question, Sandy. I don't think I've even bought a snow globe in years. But I do have a, I have a couple, for a couple of years, my kiddos got me, um, they got me a cup. I mean, it's been years and years, but I still have those and love them. Oh yeah, I don't, I didn't even want to use that color. Great. Let's see, can you do a video on what Olo markers you put together with each other? I have them, but not sure of some of them to organize them together. Um, maybe. I will put it on the list. It won't be right away. I, and part of the reason I say maybe is I may not be storing them that way. But I will talk about that I haven't completely decided what I'm going to do. But I will definitely keep that in mind for future videos. Yes, I like this much better anyway. Um, okay, they are only small because here's the thing we you don't refill them so i there's connectors they come with connectors i'm just going to show this really quick since i was asked and you can put color combinations together which is what i have done but if you want to you can also do a chisel on one end and then the brush on the other just like um you would do with maybe some other markers but instead of refilling when you're out you just buy a new color that you're out of um, and you don't have to mess with refilling, which I personally love. Oh, not that one, not that one. I want to do that right there. Mm. 
Linda says her mother didn't collect anything either. Yeah, my mom just doesn't. In fact, she got rid of like so many things that made my brother and I mad. But then the things that she chose to keep for us, um, some of it I'm glad. Some of it I just don't like, but that's okay. Some of it wasn't my favorite things. Let's see, what do we want to do in the snow globe? Maybe this color? Yep. I just want to go around this edge. This white edge with my marker because I'm pretty sure I'm going to fill in my little snow globe shape with some, uh, with my marker. All right, so I wanna show really quick. This is kind of how it will look as it rotates. Let's see. Oh, that's cool, Jessica. That's fun. I will definitely keep that in mind. All right, I am going to keep this out and let's color in our tree. And I'm gonna do, I have my dark and light green that I like here on the same marker. So I did my dark first and now I don't know which one's which, which is irritating. All right. And our base. And this is little, little coloring. I don't have to worry about um, tons of shading. You know what I mean? It's going to be so cute. All right. I'm going to take this back really quick. This is not necessarily how these are intended. I don't think I stamped that very straight, but is what it is today, everyone. I'm going to use it as a guide to add a background. I don't really, I could color in the whole thing, but I don't want to. So this is what I do when I'm being super lazy. We're just gonna do more of a little snow globe shape. Is this too dark? No, this will be all right. Okay, what are the markers called and where would you get them? Um, they're called Olo and I have a link down in my description. Down in uh, links and things like that, it's there's always a link in every video description. Maybe I will color the whole thing in. This is me trying to figure out how I do this when normally you get to see the edited video where I am not. <laughs> Guess what? Decisions have been made, not for the snow, but for everywhere else. <laughs> Your lazy is amazing. Well, thanks. We're just going to do this. because I want my snow globe to have some blue to it. So we are just going to color it all in. I thought I would like it, but I don't think I do. You know, you guys know how it is. We're adjusting on the fly today. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it, this blue color better. 
That way, as it turns, we see the pretty blue. All right. Happy with that? Color it all, Shari said yes. Okay, the next thing before I assemble this, and I realize now that I told myself to get a brad out to put this together, and I forgot. We'll do that in a minute. Yep, if you don't color it all, you'll see the white. Thank you, Shari. This is a Stardust glitter pen. And I'm going to use that partly, and I'm also going to use my white pen just to add some white detail. To our little tree. And then the stardust pin we're going to add to the star. And then we're going to add some little stardust all the way around. This is quickly turning into extra instead of, of lazy. Oh well. This is how I usually create. Let me grab. Well, I guess I didn't color that in. <laughs> Let's do gray, maybe. I'm really not happy with the fact that I got red into this part at all. Maybe it won't be very noticeable. My coloring wasn't spectacular there. Oh well. Um, let's see. Shari says you can also cut the wheel from blue and then there are dyes, which there are. I just, okay, I'm gonna, this is gonna just be, and this is just how I like to do things. I personally usually stamp my images right on the wheel and I see that I oversaturated my background way too much. Uh, because I, like it flat, but there are dies that die cut all of these little pieces. So it's really just personal preference. I don't know what color I'm coloring that label yet. I'll be right back. So back in the day, we had all these brads. I'm so glad I still have some. So let's die cut our images. Yeah, you're right, I can't stop myself. As much as I try. It is true. And we're gonna die cut and then I will assemble. Oh, that's a great idea. Shari said that she um, stamped and then layered the die cuts to help with placement. I like that. Shari knows all the good tricks. Hi, Betty. Still have brads and eyelids, E. Briggs said yes. I'm so glad I kept held on to them. So glad. All right. So, what I like to do, is this going to turn in the right place, Shari, or should I have used the, oh, I don't know that it is, is it? Oh, yeah. So sorry, I'm having a special moment. goodness 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 I hope that this is going to be okay
Hmm. All right. Usually is this is how I lined it up when I, I think that's still right. Okay. Shari, I'm thinking I maybe did not put, line it up right. Is this right? It's right? Okay. Oh, I forgot my other piece. All right. So in the reveal wheel, we have this piece, this piece, and this piece is the stability one. Oh, it does take a village. I'm having a moment. Yeah. Having a little momento. So this is the only place that you put adhesive. And I know I have my adhesive out. I like these little squares. They're my favorite. And I do my brad this way. And here's why. Because the prongs, I don't want them to stick. So, whoops, this is going to be stable and our wheel will turn. Let's hope that I put this together right. I'm feeling like I maybe didn't. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, it is right. Okay. So what I like to do is generally I eyeball it. And I just do this so that it's pretty well even, I think. We're going to try this. If it's not good, I'll peel it up and start over. Shari can tell me if it's wrong. <laughs> Since I'm totally doing it without practicing, you guys are my guinea pigs. Oh, look, it's cute. Ta da! I should have probably stamped to be Mary up a little bit higher, but okay. Was this clear as mud? I'm going to peel this very carefully. The only adhesive is on our foam squares. Please ignore my ink all over my hand. That way, it le the brad is what connects it and it allows our wheel to free move. Now, because that's popped up with foam, we want to pop our panel up as well. But we want to avoid the wheel so that it spins around. And what I like to do, it is right. For some reason, I was trying to talk myself out of it, Shari. I don't know why. That's so funny. Sometimes. Down here at the bottom, you are a little bit freer to have some adhesive. You just don't want to get too close to this. So generally, what I like to do is I will go and... I like to do my corners. Usually I have big squares, but I'm out, but that's okay. And I do like these little ones because they will avoid the wheel, but I definitely don't want there to be any funny little dips 
when I attach this panel. So that's why I tend to add, and like I said, if, the, if I had some of the bigger squares, that would be better, but I don't. So this is what we're doing today. <laughs> I love that you get inky hands. I am not a clean crafter. Who is it? Who is? I mean, I swear every day at the end of the day, I'm like, wow, I'm a disaster every single day. Now I just have to peel all these little things off, darn it. Oh, I got that one. Haha. <laughs> All right, and then we're just gonna pop our panel in place. And look, this is why I like the reveal wheel. It's so stinking cute. All right, now I need to adjust my snowbank which I did err on the side of making it a little bit bigger, but it's a little too long. So luckily I did go ahead, I should say, I die cut these with the front of my reveal wheel. So it had the stitched sides, but I'm layering two of these. So I think it's okay. it'll be okay. Um, I'm just going to trim this one down a tiny little bit because we aren't going to see the stitching anyway. And that way it's going to fit better. I was just guessing when I was pre die cutting these how far it was going to go up. Oh, did I accidentally list the dog templates? I will fix that. I am so sorry. That probably did happen. I will fix it. And I want to glue this one down. Now I'm not gonna glue the other one down because yet I want to add a sentiment to that. But there, that's not covering up our reveal wheel now, which is good. Got some hair. And then that one still has the nice stitched border, which will be cute. So I am actually gonna do a little more work to my bear. I'm just gonna add some little detail before I attach him. And then if that's a little too dark, then I like to just, I just kinda like to do that dot, but then I'll go back with my lighter color and kinda go over those and it blends them out, but still gives that fun little texture. And then also before I attach him, I want to take my black pen and go over his nose. And we want to color in our little label. We're going to do green. I've gone back and forth on what color it means that your hardest, the best are <laughs> messy and fabulous. Okay, thank you. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> and I think, let's add some little. Highlights, maybe just a couple. Adding a little bit of detail, my favorite. And we're gonna glue him down. Yeah, I'm really sorry I put the wrong template in. I should have known. I should have known not to be speedy with that.
and he's standing in the snow with his cute little snow globe. All right, hat next. Oh, acetate would be cute for the snow globe. I like that. And the bear is really, really cute, even without the reveal wheel, Shari said, and she's 100% right. He is adorable. How cute is he out in his little winter wonderland? All right. What we're going to do now is I'm going to gather, I'm going to get rid of my little squares and we're going to do our sentiment and then finish it up with our card base. I know what I forgot to grab and I'm not going to search it out right now. There is the reveal wheel sentiments that say like turn here, which I always like to add to my cards and I will. later because here's what it looks like on a card base so it's got a nice white border all the way around so let's work on our sentiments and I literally just dumped all of that on the floor it's going to be one of those days apparently that's fine Oh my gosh, I have literally just spilled two things in like 30 seconds. Did you use hot foil for the background? I did. I used the sparkle prism foil at the beginning of the video today. Can't go wrong with adorable bears. No, you cannot. We're going to grab the little border that I die cut. And what I want to do is I'm going to use a couple of sentiments. We're going to use our little Merry Christmas. And we're also going to use Be Good For Goodness Sake underneath it. I believe I want to get that centered though. That looks pretty good. Oh, I am totally normal. <laughs> now I know distress oxides are not necessarily made for stamping greetings. Uh, they're not going to give you the same impression that a dye ink will. I use them a lot because I generally like my, and I could have found a dye ink to match, but I, if you use a Misty, you generally can get a really nice sentiment. Um, if you have stamp it more than once, I think, I think that's kind of the key with that. And then we're going to grab this. So that's the key, at least the key I have found for using Distress Oxide inks. Now, I'm not going to stamp that. I don't think I'm going to stamp it in light blue. I kind of thought I'd stamp it in red. Cannot decide. My favorite red ink of all time is Lawn Fawn Lobster. Isn't the font for that sentiment the cutest? I want a little bit more red on my card. And I don't think the light blue will show up, but I know red will. I love lobster ink. Who else loves Lawn Fawn Lobster? It's my favorite red ink. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And then I can glue this down. I 
and my stomach can growl really, really loud. Wow, that's terrible. And I'm gonna glue this right to my card base panel. Sometimes I like to do um, a pattern paper background, but I kind of like the white here today. Now we definitely need some embellishment, right? For sure. So I know this has got snowflakes. Two-tone sentiment, I love two-tone sentiment. It's hard to find the lawn fawn inks now. Oh, are they? That's a bummer. I love, I love them. All right. So we are going to add a couple of these. Not that one. That one didn't pass quality control. <laughs> We're going to add some little dimensional snowflakes kind of to the center of some of our foiled ones. For a little added fun. We got to dress it up now. I feel like I'm going to see if I like this, but I think candy canes would be kind of fun. But I have to see if I'm going to like them or not. We'll, t we'll try it out. I've got to go grab them. I think we need another sn clay snowflake here to balance it all out. That looks pretty cute. I'm going to put these back in the bag because knowing my luck, these are going to be, you guys can't see it, but over here to the left, I have made the biggest mess. I have spilled two things. <laughs> okay, let me see. I may have to do some paper ones, but we're just going to, I almost think, these are too big. Is there a shorter one? I may have to do paper ones later. I could cut these down too. I thought my candy cane. I think I need paper ones. I don't want dimensional ones. We'll, we'll look. The inks are all in stock at Lawn Fawn, Jessica, is what Shari said. I thought so, but I wanted to make, I wanted to make sure before I said that. Oh, yay! First live, even if it's almost done. That's awesome. I really do feel like I need, like, a candy cane of some sort. I don't think I have any real close by. I'm looking. I may have to add them just to kind of fill in. Anyway, I'm happy with, with it. It's really cute just like this. And there's our reveal wheel. Isn't it so fun? That little bear is the cutest thing. I absolutely love him. I didn't know you could ink resist over foiling. Oh, yay! Yes, you absolutely can. I love candy canes. It reminds me of Elf. Brie, you read my mind. That's totally what I'm thinking. So I'm probably going to add some, and I'll take a picture of it, but I've got to go find the right one. And i got to go find the right one from a Lawn Fawn set. And I don't think the Lawn Fawn sets I have here on my desk don't have exactly what I want. So I'll go, I'll go grab one here in a little bit. <laughs> Okay, did I miss anybody's question while I was messing with that? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't add a little heart, but I don't really feel like there's a good spot for it. I really want to add some candy canes. That's what I want to add. I didn't realize I was going to want to until, of course, I was done. Okay, anybody have questions? or anything that I missed, I am gonna go back. Um, there is a little delay in the live, so I'm going to leave it for a minute before I sign out for the day and let you guys go for the weekend. Uh, 
so that I don't miss anything. And I know that sometimes while I'm live, I might miss a few things. Hi, is it Dana or Dana? First live and has the day off. That is awesome. Sweet Christmas is what I think I'm going to go grab, Shari. I just know that it's, I'll have to dig for it. And no one wants to wait for that. <laughs> so I'm going to go add those here in a little bit. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Stellar Crafts by Pam. Yet to walk through the candy cane forest, 100%. Okay, I thank you guys so much for joining me today for Friday Live. I do want to mention I will not be here next Friday. Um, I'm not going to be in town, so there won't be a live next Friday, but there will be the following Friday. So um, just wanted to let you guys all know that. Uh, definitely check out the entire little Lawn Fawn mini release. It is so, so super cute. You don't have to make reveal wheels with it. It works perfect. What I love is that Lawn Fawn makes things so versatile that you can use with or without um, the interactive element for those who don't want to make interactive, or maybe you just don't want it interactive for that. Definitely check out um, Other Bears would be cute on this. The other bear sets from Lawn Fawn would be absolutely adorable if you wanted to add in a little bear family or something. So, so fun. Um, and I appreciate you guys spending some of your day with me. Okay. I think think. I hope I haven't missed anybody. If I did, leave a comment after the live is over. And Replay Crew, thank you so much for watching the replay. We will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. The supplies used in today's video are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another project that you might be interested in. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a new live video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.